Hi kids, today we'll be talking about saving in the bank. So it is your favorite teacher, Miss Winnie. Yes, so we'll be talking about saving in the bank. At the end of this topic, you'll be able to one define a bank to so list two functions of a bank. So you know I'll be expecting you to define a bank for me and then list two functions of a bank what does a bank do ah right, here we go a bank is a financial institution where people can save or borrow money so you can either save or borrow money there remember we are discussing we are treating money in our mathematics so a bank is where we borrow money or we save it. Functions of a bank. So let's look at the functions of a bank. First, the bank collects deposits from people. So they collect money in form of deposits from people. The bank gives loans to business, community and individuals. The bank acts as an agent of customer during transfer. Okay, this agent means like if you want to transfer from First Bank to Zenith Bank, so they're the ones that help you transfer it to your Zenith. Without them, you can't be able to transfer to another bank account. And also, you can go there to borrow money, like when you don't have money, you borrow, so later you pay, but they will add their interest in it. Okay, so that's it. Four, the bank provides a place for the safe co safe study of valuable documents, good ornamentals and other valuables. So the bank collects salary, pension, dividend and so such other periodic collection on behalf of their customers. So if um, if someone wants to pay you money or pay your salary it's through your bank so your bank helps you to collect the money from the people and then when you are ready you can go and withdraw it and also it provides a safe place that you can keep good documents and ornamentals and valuables so we've come to the end of this topic i hope you enjoyed today okay so see you in our last lesson bye